Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new to the page, welcome. You've been here before. Welcome back. Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell so you're notified every single time we drop any type of free content on this channel. If you're not following my partner, Bryce, make sure you do so. TikTok and Twitter is mainly where he operates. All our social media links are down below, including the Defeat the Book website. That's a great place to stay up to date with all the stuff we're doing with um, promos. When Bryce gives out free picks, when I give out free picks, they usually will go right to that um, to that Twitter page. So if you're not following Defeat the Book, um, the Twitter handles down below. Make sure you follow that as well. We're coming off a nice free pick winner, nice blowout winner. Hopefully they could all be that easy. <laughs> so um, back to back wins there as we had Cal plus the eight and a half. They win that game outright. It was nice as college basketball will continue to roll. College basketball week is up. College basketball season is up, guys. We're up around 60% for the season. 43, 44 units, somewhere around there. Hop on board. You won't be disappointed if you if you if you decide not to hop on board. It's your loss. Bryce has uh, NFL today, obviously. We know I'm sure he'll have some games. I don't have his card, but I'm sure he'll have some NFL today. I have some NFL as well. There are two NFL games this Saturday and obviously a huge slate tomorrow. There's college basketball. There's NBA. We had NBA play yesterday. We cashed with the Miami Heat. If you're looking for a full recap, defeatthebook.com. Scroll down the homepage. You'll be able to see complete uh, pick history. We want to be completely honest um, and transparent with the picks that we put out for the entire week with units attached. So you'll be able to see what we're about. It's straight down there. We're not hiding anything right at right up front and honest with you guys, right? So let's get you guys a free pick. We'll send you on a way to have a great day, all right? Let's get us another one, get the three in a row. Let's get the five. I feel like it's been a little bit since we got the five. So we're going to get you at least a three here today. We're going to take a look at Texas Tech here at home going up against Oklahoma. Um, we see Tech coming off two two big losses. This line sitting at four and a half, five, depending on where you're, where you're shopping and where you're getting your lines at. Make sure you shop around um, and get the best line. I'm trying to read my notes. I'm like, I don't even know like scribble down here. I'm the worst writer of all time. But coming off back-to-back -back losses to a good TCU team on the road, um, that team is full of veterans, and that's someone to watch out for come tournament time because experience does matter. They have, uh, I believe, like five five or six guys that have played at least four or five years in college basketball. So that type of stuff matters. We know how Jamie Kendall rolls, and they've had a tough loss against Kansas. Back-to-back -back losses here. So they're 10-4 and four this season, and they're going to go up against the Oklahoma Sooners, who are coming off some tough losses as well, um, as they have back-to-back -back losses against Texas and Iowa State. This Big 12 conference is really nothing to, uh, to um, slouch about. Very good conference, very good teams here in this conference. Um, and if you look overall at their strength of schedule, they've had some teams, uh, some matchups against some teams who um, I felt like they should have won, and some, some, some games that they've lost um, against teams I think are inferior. I think the loss against Nova, is not a great loss with the state of Villanova right now. Until they get Justin Moore back, that is not a dangerous team. They lost to Arkansas there without one of their better players as well. And then back-to-back -back losses to Texas and Iowa State, both those games at home. Now, they're going to roll into Texas Tech. We know the home field advantage, the home court advantage here. That's one of the toughest places to play, if you're not aware. One of the toughest places to play in the country is Texas Tech, right? Last year, they went undefeated at home, one of the longest home winning streaks in the country. Um, and now they're going to go up against Oklahoma. I expect them to be motivated. I expect them to be ready. I do not think this Oklahoma team um, is quite good enough to match up with them. They are slow. They do play a very slow pace here. Um, and I expect Texas Tech to just have a bounce back game against from the Kansas game. That's a game I thought they had every opportunity to win. The same with the TCU game. I just think they're a class above Oklahoma here at home. Give me Texas Tech. I'm going to lay the four and a half points. It's my official free pick of the day. Um, if you like it, take it. If you don't, Comment down below. Let me know why you don't take it. Um, but if you don't take it, it's really your loss. Texas Tech, minus four and a half, official free pick of the day, guys. Let's have a wonderful day. Weekend package is up. You get today and tomorrow, 35 bucks. Hop on board. It's going to be a great weekend. Derek, da 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 dimes, defeatthebook.com. Let us help you beat those odds. Best of luck if you decide to tell, guys. Double D, signing off.